Hi there, welcome to my part two, to my multi-part tutorial. Okay, let me start over. Hi there, welcome to part two of my multi-part tutorial on how to use the Adobe Premiere Pro CS3. In the last video, I explained how to uh, set up your custom preset to be the best preset for YouTube. I also explained uh, a little bit at what this meant or is and I also didn't explain anything else so I'm going to type in my name again and click OK now I don't know about you but when I first saw this I was pretty scared because I didn't know what was going on because I was so used to having uh, other things like just video saying like video watch and uh, view your videos was in this area and then your transitions and effects were in this area and of course your timeline was down here but I was still pretty confused for this now I already got rid of them but if, if you look at this area like in this um, side of the window or this side for all the versions I believe you will see two little boxes uh, if you just click on this little wing menu you'll see a little triangle and it's well a lot of uh, all, the, all of these windows have them if you uh, click on that uh, you can either go down to close if close is there or click on that X which will close it and I close those tools boxes because I don't use them and I don't need them so also right here you would probably want to set it to hmm strange okay well for mine it doesn't show up but for yours if it shows single view you probably want to choose single view instead of dual view It'll just make it a little bit easier so let's start with this element I think that's what they're called I am not completely sure I'm sorry but this right here is where you will put all your videos and where you can view them and all that kind of stuff and up here is where your mini preview is, although it's a pretty crappy preview because it's so small. It lets you play it and scrub through it, which I'll get into a little bit later. So this is pretty important, but you don't really have to worry all that much about how this is. But what I really like about it is that how you can organize it. If you right click in this area, click on new bin, and you can name a bin. So say you're making some fancy movie. You could probably name one uh, videos and then name another one music and then name another one like deleted scenes another one bloopers or whatever but I'm just gonna get rid of these because uh, I don't need them and that's why that's what that's pretty cool about bin you can also put new item you can do this kind of stuff transparent video yada yada import which imports a video which we'll get into a little bit later and all that now if you what am I saying Sorry, my brain isn't working today. Okay, but this area is where you're going to uh, edit your video effects, your control things. This one is like you can't really do anything with it. This one you can't really explain unless there's something in it. So I'm gonna skip this one right now. Now this one is probably the most important. What you want to do is make sure that this one is on fit, and then just leave everything else alone. But what this lets you do is play through it scrub through it, uh, kind of fix, mess around with some of the controls, the contrasts, all that things. Uh, let's see. Oopsie. What? Yeah. Ugh, I don't know what I'm doing today. <laughs> and a bunch of other controls on here that you can play around with and just figure it out. Now this is your uh, history, effects, and info box. What the info box does is that it will tell you what your cursor is at in the timeline. It also tells you if you were to click on a video up here that you have imported it will tell you what the dimensions are, the frame rate, etc. The fix makes, uh, the effects shows you all your presets, audio effects, video effects, audio transitions, video transitions which we will go more into later. And also a cool little thing is the history where you can say you wanted to start over without having to like click on new and all that just you can just click on new open 
and what that does is it clears everything and makes it like that was or you can just go to cut project items or whatever so instead of having to press control Z a million times you can just come through here and click on something and redo what you screwed up saying that if you did screw up something and now probably the most important thing of any editor is the timeline without this you'd be pretty hard to do anything with your video as you can see there are multiple video tracks here there are also multiple audio tracks these these make it a lot easier to add transitions and edit multiple videos on top of each other this is what I'm moving around around right now is the edit line CTI current current time indicator whatever you want to call it I just call it the line <laughs> I, I'm gonna call it the thingy during my uh, walkthroughs so get used to it and if you click somewhere say click here it'll jump to it click here it'll jump to it you can drag this part it'll move around you can drag it up here it'll move around you can pull it along uh, down here and it'll move this little line is probably going to be the tool that you're going to be using the most during your video editing now as you see right here this can be white or this can be blue I've seen it both this is called the work area bar you're going to want to spread that over part of your video that you want to be rendered out so be sure not to really lose it because this can this is a pretty good help so I'm just going to leave over here for now and I will explain that later so thank you for watching part two of my tu multi-part tutorial on how to use Adobe Premiere Pro CS3 I explain the basics of what we are going to be doing and in the next video I will be explaining the basics of editing and uh, things like that.